Yo, what's up everyone? I am TCSK. Thanks for checking out my video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the ultimate guide to farm Gilded, the Starless Knight in Instant Hunt. Also, the Gilded variants of Obsidian Claymore, Teleportation Ropes, and Void Bow. Here are more ultimate guide on farming Gilded item. You can check out the link at right top here and down there at the description. It can help you to speed up the process of farming Gilded item. Alright, the first thing you need to know is which rune to summon the insult mob to have a chance to drop this killer item. It is the L, double N, and T rune to summon the insult scattering torment. Now you can start to farm the item they assign with this rune. Just farm rare or common item is enough. And there are many items that assign with this rune. I have filtered it which and where so you can find it much more easier and faster. Now here is the table. This table contains all the information that you need. I have filtered everything for you guys, so just follow this table. All these are recommended items to farm. Those items that are not shown in this table is not recommended to farm, okay? And you can farm anywhere you like listed in this table. Yet, there is no shortcut this time. You gotta run at least 2 missions to farm everything you need. And there is 2 types of combination. For first one, farm at Colossal Rampart, get Tempest Knife, Emerald Gears, Exploding Crossbow or Wind Bow. While you are farming at Colossal Rampart, you may also get better rope. Keep it for second method, okay? Then head to Windsweep Pigs to farm Enchanter Tomb or Updraft Tomb. Then you can go for 9 point run. For second one, if you get some better rope on method 1, that means at Colossal Rampart, okay? Then straight head to Windsweep Pigs to farm Tempest Knight and Enchanter Tomb or Updraft Tomb. If no, then go back to Colossal Rampart and farm Battle Rope. Then you can go for 6 point run. Head to Frosted Fiat to farm another bow, Snow Bow. Then you can go for 9 point run. It also drop Battle Rope in this mission. Alright, so just farm repeatedly at any of these mission and get everything you need. Then you can start hunt your Gilded Gears in no time. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. And if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It is free and it will help me a lot. And Thank you very much. Alright, so to farm all these items faster, choose the difficulty that you can one shot with your ranged weapon. If you're unsure, then just select the easiest difficulty. If your power level is at 250, then Apocalypse plus 10 is a good choice. Then equip armor and artifact that increase movement speed. Mini weapon with prospectors and chairman. It is not necessary to have this. If you have it, it is a bonus, so you can earn some emerald while farming item. And hub crossbow, if you don't have hub crossbow, Lightning Hub or Skater Crossbow will do. With any of these crossbow, you can kill much faster. You can also buy this item from Merchant, check it out from time to time and restock if you have some emerald. If you see the specific item you want, just buy from them. It will save you a lot of time and don't restock too many times, it will cost you a lot unless you are rich. If you want to get rich and farm easy experience, you can check out the link at right up here and down there at the description. It can help you to get rich and earn a lot of experience just by standing. Alright, once you have everything, equip the best gear you have then you can start the hunt now. I recommend you to go with 6 points is good enough. If you wish to go with 9 maximum points for even higher chance, yes, you can do that. If you are having trouble to go 9 maximum points, you can check out my video on AFK farm experience. It is a very simple guide and you can earn a lot of experience just by standing. The link is at right up here and down there at the description. As for the difficulty, select based on your gear capability. And of course, the higher difficulty, the better item power level drop. In the hunt, just look for the purple growing door to beat the instant scattering torment. This boss is easy, but to be safe, it is better to have potion bearer and chairman on your armor. Active it and use everything you have to finish him. If you still find it hard to kill, you can always one shoot instant kill the boss by using Torment Quiver. Equip an item that can add soul. A soul bow with dynamo enchantment is good enough. And make sure to gather some soul before you enter the boss arena. Charge up at least one stack of dynamo. Active Torment Quiver, then charge shoot to finish the boss. Ta da! And here is your guild item. Pick it up and to the next door. And every time before you exit the instant hunt, you will refresh the pickling merchant stock. So make sure to equip an armor with Luck of the Sea enchantment if you have higher chance to offer you with Gilded Unique Gears. If you see the Gilded Gears you want, just buy from him. He will save you a lot of time. Alright guys, I hope this ultimate guide can help you to farm Gilded the Starless Knight and other Gilded Gears much faster. If you have any question or suggestion, you can leave a comment below. You can also hit me up at my Discord community. Everyone is welcome to join. 
and I hope you enjoy and find some useful info in this video. Before you leave, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, it is free and it will help me a lot and I am very appreciated. So happy hunting, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.